I'm starting off today's DIY video with Dollar Tree chalkboards. I'll be using four of these chalkboards for the project. I'm going to take them out and spray paint them silver. I spray painted just the top alone. Now what I'm going to be doing is using packaging from a box that I received a while back. They're super strong, so I'm going to be using them as base for what I'm making. And I'll be using a Loctite Power Grab Strong Adhesive, and you can get this from any hardware store. I'll flip the board over before attaching the base. I used hot glue as well to make sure that I have an instant bond. I'll be gluing on Dollar Tree glasses at the top. I'll use a strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the glasses to the board. I'll be using eight glasses in total for this project. I'm also going to be adding beads to the glasses. I'll have another board on top, like this. And instead of using glasses, I'll be using Dollar Tree candle holders to make it shorter because I have a plan to use the smaller part in the middle for my diffusers. I'll glue on another board on top and then use glasses again that I have at the bottom for the top before I then attach the last board now you can make this as high as you want I want my shelving to be low so that it won't be too heavy to carry it around so but if you want it to stay in a place where you won't have to necessarily move it around you can definitely make it higher than this Because I can still see some of the write-ups after spray painting, I'm going to be covering the top of the boards with foam sheets. This is what I have. And I love the fact that it's small because I'm going to be using this in my bathroom where I can put extra towels in my diffusers. Like I said before, you can make this as high as you want using more glasses and more candle holders. For those of you who would prefer something much wider to put maybe in the dining section, here's another idea. I'll be making a box and holding them together with a strong adhesive. I'll be making four boxes for this project. 
I'll be closing some parts of the plaques that are not strong, like the middle parts. And I'll be using a strong foam board that I got from Michael's craft store. When I was done, I spray painted them silver. I'll be using the confetti that I got from the Dollar Tree to decorate these boxes. When I was done with all of them, I kept them aside to dry. These are Dollar Tree bowls that I got and the list of all the items that I use for this project are going to be down in the description box below. This size of the Dollar Tree bowls are, as I would call it, the medium size because they're slightly smaller than the bigger ones and slightly bigger than the smaller ones. I'm basically supposed to glue them like this, but because I'm worried that it might be too fragile, because it's plastic, so I'm going to double the bowls. Now I'm going to use a strong adhesive and I'm using the transparent strong adhesive to attach the bowls to the boxes that I made. I'll be adding the bowls to the bottom and at the top of the boxes. I'll keep these to set overnight. Now for the shelving, I'll be using wood and a Walmart mirror. I'll be attaching the wood to the Walmart mirror to make the Walmart mirror stronger. I need the frames to be in silver, so I took it out and I spray painted the frame silver. I covered PVC latest with mirror reflective paper and I attached the latest to the sides. It is very important to use a strong adhesive in a lot of quantity to attach these pieces to the mirror as you're building the design to keep it sturdy. I placed a Dollar Tree DIY besides the inspiration photo so you guys can see and compare the two. Now I would have really preferred using bigger bowls for this project, but it would have been too high. But then for better stability, I would rather recommend using the bigger bowls or you can equally just grab the strong ceramic Dollar Tree bowls and spray paint them silver to substitute it with the silver plated bowls. Even though I use the small bowls here, it can still hold heavy items and I'm so pleased with the results. It is important that you remember to use a lot of adhesive when attaching the boxes and the bowls together with the mirror for better stability because I had an issue with it before and I found out that more adhesive by the sides to cover up the gap because of the design of the silver plated bowls made it more sturdy. You can pick either of the two to make in your home for whichever one suits your needs. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.
was dead.